Hi guys, Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Hi everybody. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are doing a thrift store haul for you guys. We picked up some really great things on Saturday and we wanted to share them with you and talk a little bit about what we're gonna be doing with these items. So we're gonna start with this great crock that we picked up. This was $3.19 and it is Pottery Barn. So we're always excited and thrilled when we can find Pottery Barn at the thrift stores. We picked up this really great pedestal and it's already got some great distressing and some crackle patina to it. So this will be really fun to decorate with. You could put something, not necessarily this crock, but something up on top of it. Or mom had a great idea. Oh, a pretty glass cloche. If you just have the cloche and no pedestal, that's going to be perfect. Yeah, and you can always order cloches um, just by themselves, the actual glass dome part online. So keep an eye out for these when you're thrifting. Um, to either pair with a cloche you may have, or like I said, you can or always order a glass dome. A wired dome would also look really cool oh, yeah, on like this as well. The little garden ones that are made out of like chicken wire. Yeah, so we picked those up. And then you guys know my love of Ray Dunn. And we got these cute Ray Dunn flower pots. These were $1.19 a piece. Hold those there, I'm gonna zoom up for them. There you go. One says watch and one says me. And I think there was another one. These came as a set of three that said grow. We unfortunately didn't find the grow, but these will be really cute with some succulents or small annuals planted in them out on my back patio. And then the other two we found is flower child and live wild. And these were also $1.19. We got this really great uh, pillar candle stand. It's got pine cones on it. And these actually go with some candlesticks that my mom already has. For taper candles. So it's like, it's. I'm wondering if it was a set at one time. Because well, it's almost identical. Yeah, and mom and I were talking and we were at a gift, uh, there's a big sporting goods store here where we live and they have a gift shop. And we saw something very similar uh, to this in there last fall. And I want to say it was like $49.99 or something crazy like that. And we got this for $2.19. We did find another Ray Dunn piece. It's this little snack canister. It doesn't have the lid, but as I've showed you guys in um, previous videos, I love to plant little faux succulents in these to use in my coffee bar or my two-tiered trays. So that is more than likely what I'll do with this. And then we found this great so ceramic cute. pig. <laughs> you need to bring him a little lower. And I can't adjust, no, just down. There you go. He is a good size. And he doesn't have any markings or anything as to where he came from or who made it, but it was $4.19. And we are going to paint him and give him a little bit of a different, more farmhouse feel. We love getting these big mason jars also. So this is a, a ball brand mason jar, and this was $1.19. We love to put uh, bouquets of flowers in these. Um, tea. Make yeah, sun tea. you can make your sun tea in them. So these are just really handy to have um, for decorative use or you can really utilize them as mom said to uh, make sun tea in. Sometimes I feel like I need one this big with a straw in it just for my <laughs> unsweetened iced tea every day. You could go back around. It was just that one okay. item that you... And then this we absolutely love this rooster and it is a cookie jar no chips it i thought it had a marking but it's just saying that this is the top section <laughs> and goes on to the bottom section kind of self-explanatory but okay so he's pristine no chips cracks 
he's really pretty as is, or we could chalk paint him. So we haven't really decided what we're gonna do on this yet, or if mom's gonna keep it for herself. But um, that might happen. He's, we both really love this. He's very cute. And to find one that pristine at the thrift is amazing. And I, did I say how much he was? I don't think no. I did. $3.19, friends. And then we got this cute little pitcher. And this has strawberries on it, which we've mentioned that we love. And actually, guys, I'm so bummed. I got a really big ceramic bowl that has raised strawberries all the way around it. And I left it in my car and my husband took it out of the car and took it into our house. So I don't have it here to show you guys, but I got it for $2.19 and it's in great condition as well. And I'm actually going to plant my strawberry plants in it um, out in my courtyard. So we'll show you that in another video at another time. But we just thought this is really cute. You could put some faux succulents in it. You could plant a live succulent or little annuals or use the, utilize this inside. You could put um, simple syrup in it for sweet teas or creamer for coffee. It is kind of big, but if you were having a group over, it would work out great for that. And this little piece was $2.19. If any of you own the Keurig coffee maker, I always like to leave a little pitcher like that underneath to put my water in the reservoir with and decorates your pot, you know, your coffee cup pot a little bit or your area yeah and and it's great to fill your and that's a good reservoir size that with. would hold lots of water probably fill your reservoir plenty full this has got to be at least 10 ounces yeah. this so one. that's another good idea when you're out and about looking for thrift items look for something cute just to leave on that stand that way you can you have something handy to put the water in yeah and then I love to pick up uh, religious figurines or crosses, crucifixes when we're out and about. And I just love this Mary. And she is ceramic and in pristine condition, no chips or cracks. And she was a dollar and 19 cents. I love that. I love the color. Yeah, it's really pretty. And so then this is going to be um, for an upcoming DIY. I'm not gonna tell you guys what we're doing with it yet, but we will be doing something with this soon for you guys. And this is, it is glass. It's like a frosted glass. This was $1.19. It has this really interesting ghost that they did with glitter paint. We're gonna remove that. And this, so this was $1.19. And we actually got this stand. The stand is ceramic and it looks like it's, you know, made to hold like a pillar candle or three wick candle. So we're gonna clean this up. And this piece was $2.19 and it's got a really great crackled finish. Can they see that, Mom? I think so. It's hard to tell outside. We'll see how this goes when we play it. Yeah. Back. We've so, got shade moving in and out. We have the winds blowing a little bit today. So if this is filming funky, we're, we're sorry. So this will be an upcoming DIY. We'll show you in videos of what we do with a lot of this stuff, but we have a very specific plan for this. You have to show what the cuteness on the front of the table. Yeah, so actually I'm gonna get out of the screen for a minute and pan down and show you guys this great table we picked up for $20 that we are going to be repainting. So let me pan down and show you guys that and then we'll continue. Oops, sorry guys, the tripod broke on us too this morning, so. So this is the cute little table that we got. It's got some great detail on it, and we are gonna transform this. I'll show better photos, and we'll show it better when we actually film the video of the transformation. But we just wanted to show you that we picked that up. And then you can see this darling little yard flag that is hanging on the front of it. It's got our favorite things, bees and a bee skep, and it says home sweet home. And this is like a heavy canvas fabric that this is painted on. This was $2.19 and it's in great condition. And I think I'm gonna keep this 
for myself. Okay, so we're going to start with these pieces that we have propped against the table down here in front. This says Life is Short by The Shoes. We don't necessarily love this design or color, but we are going to utilize this for a sign. And this is another great thing to remember when you guys are out thrifting. Think outside the box. If you see something that's got great bones or a great structure or shape to it, think about how you could change it to make it work for you and your decor needs. So this is going to get painted out. It's going to become a new sign, but we love how it kind of looked like, um, you know, wooden planks uh, that are fit, fitted together. And this piece was from Pier One Imports. It was originally $29.95, and we got it for $3.19. And you guys, it's almost like brand new. With yeah. A couple of little scuffs is all. And really, to me, this has kind of a beachy feel just because of the color, I think, and the, the pattern. Kind of bohemian. It's and got very that boho. So if you had boho decor or you were going with kind of a boho nautical, you could just take this right home, wipe it down, and hang it in your house. But for what we want to do, we are going to change it. And then this is another great find. So on this side, it's got the galvanized metal, so it's a magnetic board here. And then over here, we're going to actually paint this out and put some kind of a design, whether we use one of our chop couture transfers or a stencil, or we may even use an iron orchid transfer on this. One of those smaller um, ones that we showed you that have the cows that say fresh dairy that are really colorful, one of those might fit perfectly in here. So again, think about those things when you're out and about. This little ledge, you could use it as a shelf. It has a little groove in it, so if you wanted to put chalk or a dry erase or a dry erase marker or something in or there, or even you a could. pretty plate, you could utilize it as a plate holder. Yeah, and put some little tchotchkes next to it. It's got hooks below, so you could hang things off um, the bottom of this. Your keys, decorative pieces, and this doesn't have any. Um, labels or prices on it as to where it was originally from but like I said two dollars and 19 cents and it's very sturdy and, and well made yeah it's in great great shape it has these kind of fun hangers that you can use and then it also has some of these uh slotted ones on the back as well and then this was such a score this was $4.19, and no, it wasn't a score because of the print that's inside of it. It's this frame. This frame has the most awesome detail, and a frame this size with this kind of great detail to buy it, say at, you know, a Michaels or Aaron Brothers or something like that would cost well over $100. And so for $4.19, we are going to transform this. We will do a video on this transformation, so you guys will have to watch for it. But that's another thing. When you're out and about looking, always look at the artwork because the art might not be something you want and totally outdated, but the frame could be something you could And really, that print, the print isn't that bad. If you still did the Tuscan look, it's grapes and an old wagon and some pretty florals. It's not... It's just not what it's, we yeah, bought it for. Yeah, it's not hideous or anything. But for $4.19, if you have a house and you need wall art, sometimes you can pick out some pretty good stuff. Yeah, so those are those pieces there. And now I'm going to get up and show you guys um, the rest of the stuff we have up on the table. So our first thing is this awesome, awesome, awesome candelabra. It is metal. It was $3.19. And we are we already know exactly what we're gonna do with this. It and, has a rusty kind of finish on it already. And um, this is going to be a DIY video that we will share with you guys. Everyone was stopping us in the Goodwill going, oh my gosh, did you just pick that up in here? So yeah, we thought it was a good find. And then we love to transform 
terracotta pots, flower pots, even some of the plastic pots that are kind of decorative that some of your annuals will come in. We've transformed a lot of those and we use them um, in our yard for our plants. And well, we're gonna- can't, You can't beat something like that. It's free and it costs very little to transform it. So why not utilize it instead of having it end up in landfill? Yeah. So we're gonna do a whole fun like outdoor potting solutions video for you guys. But we did pick this up. This is terracotta. And this one, I think this one was $1.19, but the little tag fell off of it. So we've got this one here. And then this is another score. I know some of you have heard me talk about Southern Living at Home. Um, I own several of their pieces and this was a direct sales home decor company. I don't even think they're around anymore. But I have this on my bookcases at home. So it's a pedestal that came with a glass domed cloche on top. And I have the whole setup. And I want to say it was pretty pricey, guys. It was like $70. Um, and I'm keeping this. <laughs> the, Mom's keeping this one for herself. But it was $3.19. And as I said, it's Southern Living at Home. And she either has a dome she can put on it or we can order her a dome to put on this. So watch for pedestals, guys. These are so great to decorate with, to um, use for different elevations of your decor, highs and lows. Even if you don't want to use it in every day, they're great for the holidays. Yes. For your tablescapes and dessert tables. And, and then this great piece of pottery here has that great yellow glazing on it. You guys have seen some of the pieces I have at my house. I have a big vase with a, a B on the front of it that I showed you guys back when I was doing my everyday decor series. I have a big fleur-de-lis that's in this color and some other and pieces I of pottery. And I also own that and I told Misty yeah. we're not selling this either. So this mom. <laughs> Everything yellow you see from here on out, I'm keeping. So mom's keeping this. We also found these great little birds, and I want to say these are a Hobby Lobby thing. And they're so cute. It's and like, oh, who would get rid of that bird? So $3.19. And you know it didn't cost that at Hobby Lobby. And the legs are metal on, the, on this one. And then this one has the little metal wings. And, and I, believe, it, I believe that was Hobby Lobby too. I, I think they both like are, that. yeah. $3.19 for those. And My then favorite. this is a great score. Mom, do you want to tell them about this? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not French, but La Crusade is uh, the piece. I think that's how you say it. And my grandmother actually used that when I was a child. She had the big pots that she cooked all her goodness in. And I collected a little bit. It's very, very pricey. And when I seen this, I couldn't pass it up. And it's yellow. I'm a sucker for yellow and little pictures. <laughs> so this was a dollar and 19 cents, you guys. My mom has a butter dish, uh, same brand, that we picked up at TJ Maxx. and. Even at TJ Maxx price, the butter dish was like $29.99, 20. yeah, I it think. Was expensive. And they normally sell, I think, for closer to like $50. So a little pitcher like this, even at a discount store at like TJ Maxx or something, would probably run at least $19.99, if not a little bit more. So to pick this up for $1.19 was a real score. And if I butchered that name, I'm sorry, La Crusade or La Crusette, I'm not sure. But and I, I love it either way. <laughs> we got this great conch shell. And you guys, shells are kind of expensive um, when you go to pick them up for decor purposes. And this one is really pretty. Super pretty. It's a great size. And this was $3.19. So if you're doing like a nautical farmhouse or a nautical theme, check your local thrift stores for some shells. Mom has a plan for this. These also look really cool with either faux or real succulents planted in them, guys. Or if you have a beachy guest bathroom or bathroom, you put soaps in there, little yep. decorative soaps. So this was a good find as well. We also have this fun little metal uh, like taper candle candelabra 
This is going to be for an outdoor DIY project that we are going to share with you guys. You have so to stay tuned because we're not even going to tell you what we're going to do with that until mm -hmm. we do it. Stay tuned with for that. And then look at this cute planter. It's this cute flower. Another yellow piece. It looks great with these pieces here. So more than likely mom or myself will keep this. And then this is my little score. I was so thrilled when I found this. I am a little bit bummed because I do think it had the little domed top um, that probably got broke or whatever, but I picked this up. It was $2.19. You could put some cute little daisies coming out of the top of that. Yeah, and this matches um, a cookie jar that I have. It's real, I mean, close enough. It's not exact, but this will be paired really cute with that. We've got great pottery, guys. Great. So we pottery. got this pottery lamp, and no, it's not going to stay like this. We will be doing a DIY for you guys on this. We just need to find the perfect shade for this, and then we will do a video. And I think you guys are really going to love the transformation that we give this piece. We found this really great metal base. I I love this stuff. It's got great embossed detail. And really, if you have a Tuscan home, something like this would be perfect as is. Wipe it down and use it in your decor. You could either um, display it with or without floral inside. But this is a this was a great piece. And guys, this was $2.19. And it, think about this. If you don't have Tuscan or this wouldn't go with your look, this is a great piece to paint. Wet distress back, show some of this detail off that's on it. Use it outside. Mm -hmm. It'll be really, it's gonna be really cool. So you'll see what we do with this as well. We also got some more great pottery. So we got this pot here. This is, this probably was a real spendy little piece. Yeah, there's no markings on it. It was $3.19. We're going to be transforming this into something a little different that goes with our decor. So we'll probably do a make a video where we make over these pottery pieces I'm gonna show you kind of all in one video so we can share with you guys. But we got that piece. We got this little piece here. I almost think those were garlic keepers. Is that what they were back in the day? It kind of sure. looks like those. This um, does have a stamp on the bottom. I was going to try to move the price tag so I could show you guys. It was $3.19. It says $19.93. Uh, this price tag won't come off. but So it was originally about $20. Bucks for, probably. For $3? Yeah. Uh, $3.19. And then we got this piece here. And again, Oops. we love it's the so detail on this. I even love the color. Misty's not a blue girl, but I think it's pretty just as is. So, but we have an idea for this. And the idea we want to do on this would require us painting it anyway. So it probably will get painted out. And this actually was a Hobby Lobby piece. It was part of their spring decor. Oh, no, 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 sorry, Joann's. It says Joann's on the tag. It was $19.99 and we got it for three bucks. Looks brand new. I'm gonna take a quick drink of my club soda, guys. Sorry about that, okay. And then we got this piece. Love it. This one was $6.19. There's no markings on it. More than likely, this was handmade. And we have a really fun idea for this. So we'll do like a whole pottery makeover DIY for you guys. And then there's a couple other things that we got. Um, so this is very lightweight. It's kind of a foamy like plastic. Um, totally 80s, you know, with the pinks and the mauves and the fun wall art that used to be so hot back then. Um, we're totally gonna transform this as well, and we will be filming a video on this um, this week. So um, this piece was uh, originally from a store called Richmond Gordman, and it was $20 and we got it for four bucks. 
And then this other piece, we couldn't resist. We're always thinking of ahead to the next holiday or the next season. So we picked this really great little wooden sleigh up and this was $2.19. That's a, it's really in nice shape too. Yeah, it's in great shape. So if this was something that went with your color scheme, again, you could take it home, wipe it down, put an arrangement or something in it and call it good. But we're gonna do something a little bit different with it. And this will be in one of our, probably like a secondhand Sunday video when we start into the holiday season. Okay, hold on guys. I'm gonna zoom down inside because Misty has treasure. So I've been looking for a smaller nativity scene. And every time I find one, either baby Jesus is missing or it's all broken chipped. This is the complete set. And they're all ceramic. None of them are chipped, cracked, nothing. They're that and porcelain type, porcelain type stuff. And these were 49 cents a piece, guys. So for $5.50, I got all of it. And we're thinking about building our own uh, manger for it to sit in. So you guys will see this again, um, again, as the holidays come closer and we start doing our DIYs for that. That's the whole, all the little animals. Yes. The three wise men, the donkey. Mary. Jesus and Mary. Yeah, and it, it also has this really pretty little angel. 49 cents a piece. So we really scored on that. And none of them are chipped. Yep, they're Hopefully in great shape. Hopefully they'll stay intact. <laughs> so guys, that is it for this huge uh, thrift store haul. We really appreciate you guys joining us today. We really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel and would like to follow along on this creative journey, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. And you can also follow us over on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is Queen Bee's Vintage, spelled the same way that it is here. And over on Instagram, it is at Queen Bee's Vintage, all lowercase. So we hope you guys will visit us over on our social media sites as well. Thanks again for watching, and we will be back soon for some great DIY makeovers. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.